in the bathroom of the Paradiso in Amsterdam. First night of the tour. Give me some feedback here. Uh, it was amazing. Like uh, Amsterdam is one of my favorite cities. It's really something special to uh, to be able to play a show here and, and have a uh, such a good reaction. It was a beautiful crowd. Many times. Uh, a good friend of mine lives here. Do you have a favorite coffee shop? Uh, brokery is pretty good. Which brokery? The one right on the, is that the Hamstel? Mm -hmm. The one right on the main canal there. I'm really not educated on coffee shops as much as I should be. I just kind of stumble into them. Do you believe that your listeners have a better time when under the influence? Any time that you break down any sort of filters or barriers, you're going to have a different experience. And so taking things in in different states is definitely important, I think, and understanding things from two different perspectives. I think some people, myself included, are able to see things in a more clear way when those filters are broken down. So I think for some people it is a more powerful experience. And your visuals add a whole lot. Who makes them? Lately I've been working with uh, director Charles Brookquist and so he's been shooting footage and we've been putting together new visuals so tonight you saw a couple new clips. I'm really interested in why you think you're so popular amongst men 18 to 25. I think it has to do with the, my background in graphic design and that kind of industry seems to be dominated by young men. And, uh, and I think, you know, electronic music in general is, for some reason, for whatever reason, is made by and appreciated by that, that kind of group of people. I've been following his blog for like two years now. And it's really nice because all the visuals and all the music come together really well. I really like how he makes his art like really um, like analog. It's, you know, it's really nice. So you're about to embark on a huge European tour, a major city you're looking forward to. Uh, Paris, I've never been to Paris. Tycomusic.com for tour dates, downloads, and more. Up next on Bubble TV, Air Cal by Calm Trues, a music video shot in Phoenix, Arizona, followed by an interview with Seth of Calm Trues from right here in Holland. I'm Scott from Tyco. I'm in Amsterdam and you're watching bands on the bubble.
trip to Holland, a great little town about an hour's train ride away from Amsterdam for the Guess Who Festival. And guess what? I'll be talking to Calm Trues, and this guy knows how to lay down some serious spiritual synthy beats. Seth is a graphic designer from New York and is on the Ghostly International record label. So tell me a little bit about your sound and how you came up with it. You know, I kind of developed this uh, obsession with the, you know, kind of off-kilter 80s music. Most of the time everything starts, you know, on the computer or mess around in synthesizer. Are you writing down, like, chords? No. Or, like, sound? So. You can hear it in your head. Sometimes. Sometimes I can see it first. And then I, I can hear it. Um, very visual. Electronic music has no words. How, what are you trying to say through your music? For me, I'm trying to m write, you know, songs that, when I hear them, kind of uh, bring me back to different times, you know. I feel like if I don't long enough and, you know, I'm not, you know, kind of feeling nostalgic, then I'll forget things and I'll, um, you know, kind of take things for granted. Everything is so well organized, you know, people are, are there for you. Music is like a, definitely a universal language, you know. All this is leading up to perhaps new sounds or mm -hmm. new songs you felt inspired here. I'm, uh, you know, collecting my you know, thoughts and, and uh, whatever I can in whatever form. I'm gonna go home and revisit them. So go to comtrues.com for amazing downloads and to find out where you can watch him play. I'm Kyle Lamont and you're watching bandsonthebubble.com.